Zach, the Cypriot community of Western Australia is but one of many organisations in Australia actively promoting our culture and heritage. How does one raise the public profile of Cyprus, especially when you're living among one of the most culturally diverse populations in the world? I would say it always starts with each and every one of us talking about our home, our heritage or homeland, depending on which part of the generation you are. So talking about with your friends, your family, Cyprus. We can always connect with food, especially when the topic of halloumi comes up, which is one of the most well-known products from Cyprus. We promote Cyprus at various events we do throughout the year, especially the uh, Perth Glendie we're involved with here in, in Western Australia. So that's a great day for us. We are the smallest community in Australia, but we try hard. Now around Australia, there's a lot of quite a few Cyprus festivals too. Um, in Adelaide, they have a Cyprus festival in Darwin. In Melbourne, they actually have a Halloumi festival, which has been quite popular, and I'm sure Sydney, Brisbane, everywhere else, they have their little festivals to promote Cyprus through food, culture, dance. There's a various dance groups throughout Australia. We've got, this year, we relaunched one in, in Western Australia after so many years. So I guess that, that, that's probably the best way to promote Cyprus and always talk about our island, but loving the beaches, the tourism, the culture, the heritage. But food is always number one. So when we talk about Chef Tayez, it's great. The Cypriot community of Australia has continuously rallied for Cyprus, raising awareness of the Cyprus problem. How does the younger generation perceive the Cyprus issue? I'll talk from a personal perspective with my children. I mean, it always starts at home, I say. So we've always um, taken the time to explain to them uh, the situation. I try and be unbiasedly. I would say always follow international law. UN resolution showing that the island is occupied, the Turks are there, the settlers there. So if they do their own research, they'll find the truth. My children really understood it more when we took them to Cyprus and saw for themselves the occupied parts. But we went over for one reason and that was to, for my father to show us our homes where we lived and to understand and, and see. And then through the community as well, they're connected to the community when they come to our events, but we just try to elevate that um, knowledge from. What are some of the events organised by the Cypriot community of Western Australia that promote the common Cypriot culture? One event that I think we attract the most non-Cypriot groups it would be our Greek festival in Perth. We've done three so far in, in the last few years uh, and they've been great. We get a lot of exposure there, we promote again food, sorry I keep going back to food, but we promote through food and, and we get to you know show a little bit of our culture, our various dance groups and the Hellenic community and all the others are involved. Uh, we call it a day to be Greek. So you know we're promoting a taste of Greece and Cyprus in, in Perth. We do a memorial service uh, for the 1974 invasion every July and we go to the King's Park and it's a day where we see our Cypriot flag half raised uh, above the park and uh, we do a, a memorial service and a, a short speech remembering those uh, who died in, during the invasion. As well throughout the year we have a few other small events, we have you know sort of laggy nights where we play tambourine or poker and uh, small things like just to keep connected with uh, our community. What message would you like to convey to the Greek Cypriot community both in Australia and around the globe for 2021? Never give up. Don't give up hope. Let's keep pushing for a free Cyprus, more cultural Cyprus, open to all Cypriots, but without Turkish troops and without Turkish settlers. And then on the wider scale, I would say, uh, you know, it's it's been a tough year for everybody listen to the health advice, listen to the government advice. Not everyone gets it right the first time, but we have to understand they've got a tough job to do, and we have to help get through this all together.